Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, we share of this. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, I want you to know that everything that God wrote concerning you, it is beautiful. Everything that God wrote concerning you. Somebody, you might be asking yourself, why is my destiny like this? You know, every great destiny experiences battle. There is no great destiny that never experience a battle. Because when you are a great destiny, you are on a journey of making all that destiny great. I take that word again. When you are a great destiny, you are on a journey of making all that people destiny great. Who are these people? It might be your foundation. It might be your children, your husband, your wife, your friends, your neighbor. The believers in the church, in the ministry, wherever you go, in your neighborhood. Hallelujah. So when you have a great destiny, you are on a journey of making others great. Have you not seen people who are wedding? Just one person. I heard of a footballer who struggled to become successful. And I heard that the mother was the one that was standing by him and all of that. But through him... The family became okay, stable. All of the poverty they experienced while he was trying to get into training and all of that. All of that poverty is not like a story. When he sit, sat down today to talk about his journey, he's going to talk about how he was, he never had all, all, all those gold, all those silver, all those beautiful things that family is giving. But how the mother, how the mother was there to work and work extra job to make him have life and all of that you know sometimes this great destiny they face battle because when they become great automatically everyone around them or rather everyone that are coming or that are in the household where they are they become great it take one man for greatness to enter a house you know you hear a warfare that says cause enter into a house true one man so true one man blessings can also enter you need to understand if the devil come to kill to steal and to destroy yes life abundance to build can also come in through christ jesus hallelujah glory to jesus yes child of god there are things written concerning you there are things written concerning your destiny and um, but you find yourself fighting to achieve those things that are written concerning your life. Not that you are not aware that great things are written concerning you. Not that you are not aware that you are a great destiny, but you are fighting to see the manifestation of it. It's like you are in a battlefield, you know? You are like, oh, I, I know I am a great person. I know I was born to be great. I was born to be like this. I was born to be like that. You already know because when you look at how you are, how you grow, the Z, the things that have happened in your life, you don't even need a prophet to tell you that you are a great destiny. No, you already know. Hallelujah. You already know. But sometimes you are finding it so difficult for that greatness to manifest. That is to tell you that you are a great destiny, not just for yourself, a great destiny that is meant to free others' destiny, to make others' destiny to be great as well. That is why you see the war like that. That is why you see the attack so heavy. Child of God, sometimes you have to forget every other thing first and just focus on yourself, soak yourself in prayer, not pray for yourself. You know we are very good in praying for others. There is no problem about that. Praying for others is a gift, yeah, and God reward those that pray for others. Even you that is praying for others as I am, I need to also feed my soul. Sometimes I need to pray for myself, like pray, soak myself in prayer, praying for myself as well. Hallelujah. 
you must pray for yourself to release your destiny. To release your destiny. You need to understand these things, child of God. You need to know that you carry a very big and a great Aha, God, have mercy. Something important has been written down concerning you. That is why you see yourself fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Fighting in the process you are fighting for others. Sometimes while you are feeding others, you don't need to be exhausted. When you are keeping others warm, you need to keep yourself warm as well. You, know, you don't need to burn out when you are keeping others warm. This is to tell you that you need to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself as you are praying for others. Take some days. Take some time. Take some minutes. Take some hour. From 5 minutes to 10 minutes. From 10 minutes to 15 minutes. From 15 minutes to 20 minutes. From 20 minutes to 25 minutes. Gradually, 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 gradually. You will see yourself breaking out from everything that has been stopping you from achieving the things that has been written concerning you. I know it is difficult sometimes to pray. I understand. The time you want to fast, that is the time they will invite you to for dinner. The time you want to pray, that is the time somebody is telling you, ah, there is a match to wash. Sometimes you need to soak yourself in prayer. Beautiful things are written concerning you, child of God. God has a perfect record of beauty concerning your life. And those beautiful things must manifest. I pray for you, understanding in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And I may your sister evangelize. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.